coming right now. Well, it's a happy Sabbath, and we are so delighted to be with you today. I am Marlene McKinney, and I am from Something Better Today, and I live here in beautiful, sunny Bahamas. It's a beautiful day on the outside. I'm looking out, and I see no rain. How are you guys doing this morning? Happy Sabbath, Michelle. It's so good to see you. You too, Marlene. Happy Sabbath. It is awesome. It's a wonderful day, and my name is Michelle Blackwood, and I'm from healthier steps and i live here in florida and it's beautiful too marlene really beautiful here welcome everyone thank you so much for joining us pleasant sabbath to you and as you join please like and also please share and invite someone and if you haven't done so already subscribe yes. to our youtube channel we yes. love you guys we need your support we thank, thank you in advance for what you're about to do for us thank you yeah. Today's an exciting one. We're a little late, unfortunately. We're sorry about that, but we are here and we are ready to share with you. But I think that we have some persons who are just waiting to say good morning and happy Sabbath. Oh, you love that music? <laughs> we put that on just for you. Just for you, girl. Uh, yes, we love it too. We love it. We love it. We love that music. It's been a part of us. I think we started I find, finding all these little background music. I'm like, that's nice. I love it. Yeah. yeah. It's very, very nice. So thank you so much, Cherry. How are you doing this morning? We hope that you're well. Hope you're having an awesome and a pleasant Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, Cheryl. We have Sherry and we have Cheryl. All sure. right. Sherry and Cheryl. Cheryl and Sherry. Cherry. Cherry. So we hope that you guys are all well this morning. Um, we thank you for joining us and we ask that you just do us the favor of sharing our live with your family and friends. We are so grateful. So the holidays are just ahead. Yeah. What does that mean for most of us? Just thankfulness. Yeah. You know? For me, it's not all about the the food. For me, it's just spending time with family. Listen, it's a time to spend with family. You. That's all that matters with me. That's you. These people are like this. All about the food. <laughs> My daughter is coming got, home, so that's what I'm like looking forward I know. to. Her coming. I know. That's, it's about family. It's, it's about, about family. getting together. You yeah. know, that's what I I miss that about the holidays and you know, my parents are all gone now. Yes. My sister lives overseas. My brothers, they have their families, you know, sometimes I crash. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I miss that about the holidays. I think that's what, I think that's really what the holidays are all about. Yeah. Spending quality time yeah. with each other. Yeah. Yes. The food can bring a certain amount of, I guess what you'd want to call it. Um, come on, you know, it can help you with memories, but truthfully speaking, it's about yeah. family. It's about spending quality time with the Lord, too. Yes. That's relaxing. You know, relaxing, too. Yeah. You don't have to be working, so it's a time to rest, recuperate, think about what God has done for you and how he's blessed you, and be thankful in everything we give thanks. So mm -hmm. it's a time for thankfulness. Uh, exactly. I don't, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's really, that's really what it's about. 
which is um, basically every day. <laughs> every day. Why do you wait until then? You know, even the Christmas, we wait until Christmas to buy gifts for each other. Why? I know. I so true. <laughs> we should just be thankful and giving right. all the time. Amen. Shanette says, Amen. Amen. I'm seeing my friend Charnette. She's my childhood friend from Jamaica. Happy birthday, Charnette. Oh. oh, it's a birthday today also? I from my memory, we share the wow. same. Oh, yes, and today is Michelle's birthday. Will you guys help me in saying happy birthday to Michelle? If you want to sing it, let me know. I'll bring you on the platform. Yeah. Happy birthday, Michelle. I hope you have an awesome day. I know that it's already a blessing because, hey, you're alive. Number one, two, it's Sabbath and your birthday. Yes. yes. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the day. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning. Yeah. Morning, Jackie, thank you so much for joining. Let us know where you're joining us from this morning. That would be so awesome if you yes. let us know. Thank joining. you. She, yeah. I remember your birthday, Charlotte. She said, Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Peter Hutch, good morning. Shanette, yeah. happy birthday, Michelle. Shanette oh. says, thank you. Yes, it's her birthday. Uh, Jackie says, M M um, good morning, Michelle. Happy birthday. Thank Michelle, you. happy birthday. Happy Sabbath, ladies. Yeah. Okay. And El Nathan. Hi. <laughs> happy Sabbath, my young people. Happy birthday, Michelle. And I have it from uh, Rachel and El Nathan. He yeah. plays the violin very well. I love it. Keep it up, El Nathan. Oh, Jack. But listen, listen, let's go back to El Nathan. <laughs> I know. Oh, Keep it up. I'm so proud of him. I would love for him to do a rendition for us. Is that possible? Yes. yes. Oh, my goodness. Listen to me. I had to share it. Listen. Yes. That yes. was like, wow. I was so blown away. I'm like, wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Listen, young give man, it up, give it up. You, Love you've it. got a bless. Oh wow, How you've got it? such a gift for that violin. You make that violin talk. Yes, it was so and beautiful. Charlene also, he could do a five minute for us on Vespers if he's, he doesn't mind. Would love for him to do. But you know, Vespers is kind of late because they're in London, England. Now, what he can do is he can record it just record for it. Record it. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Don't mind El Nathan. <laughs> beautiful. I mean, beautiful. I'm so proud of you. And your mom, you know, you're doing a fabulous job. job. Amazing job. Amazing yeah. job. You know, I mean, it was just outstanding. Honestly, yes. I'm not just saying that. It was outstanding. Yes. Outstanding. Yes. Wow, you're watching from South Africa. Jackie, good morning. South Africa. Thank you, Thank you very you. much. Beautiful. Oh, Thank Jackie. you so much. Gratitude Thank is attitude amen alden says good morning and happy sabbath happy birthday michelle thank you alden happy birthday michelle from cherry cherry happy birthday from peter peter no i want to cry from <laughs> boy. Boy. Listen, cool. again, all the birthdays hallelujah oh, with your son is morning ladies let me be the first oh <laughs> Sarah is good depending on when we eat Hi, really? just before workout, happy <laughs> Can you imagine me eating at four? Oh, wait, wait. Feel? I don't wait, I wait, wait, to, wait. I can never teach a class at five. No, man. No. Wait, we wait, wait and hear what the presentation says. So stay tuned. <laughs> we probably be on his way to church. Aww. So you have to go back and watch it later on. Okay? Later on. Yes. Yes. You're Aww. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Well. Our program this morning on carbs, uh, lifestyle 360. You know, we are your educators. We are hopefully inspiring you to make change. We are hopefully encouraging you to make some changes. Positive, permanent change. Amen. In your life. In your life. Amen. Yeah. Michelle says... Birthday to my name's namesake. Blessings for the year ahead. Thank you. Each day will bring more joy than you can contain. Man, I received it. Thank you. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Wanda. Well, one day's in the house. Happy, Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, Brother Boniface. So, it's Lifestyle 360. Michelle, anything else you want to share before Not we get into our talk? thankful just thankful for everyone for joining us we couldn't do this without you all so i appreciate you one and all every name that's called 
I pray God's richest blessings on you. And as we are in the process, like carbs and all this, what we're presenting to you, I'm literally in the process of making lifestyle changes and I'm seeing results, feeling results. I was telling Marley. So my encouragement to you is don't knock the message, implement them in your life and see the changes and experience it. You know, come and taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Today Amen. we're bringing you healthier steps to something better. Amen. Something better. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. So there are dangers in refined carbohydrates, of course. Um, mm -hmm. Many dangers in refined carbs. And that is why when Michelle and I come on, on our Tuesday show, or if you've gone to our channels, you would see that we try to incorporate the unrefined carbohydrates instead of using the refined, especially when we're making our, our desserts. You know, it'll always be whole wheat or Michelle does the gluten-free, so she does the rice flour and the uh, teff and the others, you know, because we know that it's definitely healthier and then the um, refined carbohydrates really can lead to lots of ailments. And so you got to stay tuned this morning and remember to share the live, comment, mm -hmm. We love feedback. I love to hear from you. I know that beautiful little pie in front of us looks like, oh, that looks good. <laughs> I wish I had one today, but I don't have no dessert today. I have nothing. So that's okay, eh? There's nothing yeah. wrong. <laughs> Proverbs 25 and 27 says, it's not good to eat much honey. For so, for so for men to search their own glory is not glory. Mm. It's not good to eat too much honey. Someone asked me this week, Michelle, yeah, you said no sugar, but can I do honey and can I do agave and all these others? And I'm like, um, what do you say? 70% sugar. And yeah, you always say no to honey. Yeah, yeah, we say no. Agave is refined, you know, think about it. For me, how I do it, I was explaining to my husband yesterday, you know, we were talking about it. And what I told him, if you can make it at home, mm -hmm. And it's made in a lab or a big manufacturing industrialized way of making it leave it out now we try to eat it the way god made it so yes honey was made but it's 70 percent. and remember honey is the vomit of the bee so the bee did some process into it regurgitated and then that's the second process so it's highly refined um and at the end of the day it's your personal choice yeah so i explain the dates um, because it's just, you're going to go to the things, the fruits, fruits are sweet. And some of the vegetables are so sweet too. If mm -hmm. you re-teach, you're going to relearn. So yes. we're going to, by starting to eat more of the whole food, you will, when you eat the refined one, it's too sweet. You'll be like, oh, that's too sweet. He asked me about stevia. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, at first I said, I said, if I can't, because we grow stevia, if I can't take that leaf and boil it, then it's not good. So I said, let's go research on stevia, how it's made. Mm -hmm. Once we started re researching it, my husband was like, yeah, I see why. It's highly refined. They they do boil it at first. They mm -hmm. extract it either with water or with alcohol. And then that's a no-no. So they mm -hmm. extract it. And then they put enzymes in it to break it down more. Because they're trying to get out of, because when you eat the raw stevia plant, the mm -hmm. leaf has a bitter sweet taste. Yeah. So they decided the glycosides that are, they want to get only the sweetness. So they're going to remove those and mm -hmm. leave it sweet. So what they use is enzymes. And then it says a lot of the enzymes that are used are either chemical made or they're genetically modified. Mm -hmm. So if you're not into genetically engineering food, stevia is no good so that's what i'm trying to show you if you can pick that leaf boil it because you can do that boil it until it it's concentrated and use it mm -hmm. then it's better to stay away from these highly refined we talked about the processing sugar and how it's done and so just go research how did they get to the, the end result mm -hmm. sugar is bleached They've taken out the molasses, which has the nutrients in it, and they try to bleach it so it could be white. Mm -hmm. They extract all the nutrients, the good thing from the yeah. sugarcane juice. Yeah. So, or do you, and then when your body sees it, 
your body sees it as a foreign food because God designed your body to eat the original food. Mm -hmm. So now the body is like, whoa, this is too much and it's concentrated. Mm -hmm. So it shoots up mm -hmm. your blood glucose level. Or if it's these artificial sweeteners, they are mimicking sweeteners that your body think that is real sugar and mm -hmm. it also causes weight gain. They find that these literally cause weight gain and addiction because they affect the brains the you know they, they stimulate those hormones in your brain and you become they're like the dopamine reception and you become addicted so they're very addictive so we should come off those stuff and go to god's food amen the whole food just eat the whole food whole you know food. instead of sweetening sweetening rather your 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 desserts with the refined sugars why not use some bananas yeah. why not use some apples why not use some dates yeah why not, you know use the whole food because when you're using the whole food you're getting the fiber plus the sweetness but what yes. happens is as it enters into your bloodstream it keeps your blood sugar under control and we're trying not to make it spike because when it spikes then you have to produce more insulin and that's a definitely a problem because it's a hormone and your body don't need to be producing that so much because to accommodate what you've done so what yes. do i use instead we use bananas and dates and apples and yeah and, and marlene i want to say also that That's they, the some That's people you they say okay you can use some health advocates will say use the maple syrup and the coconut sugar in moderation then mm -hmm. it's best to go whole but if you have to for say for a recipe that you're not going to eat every single day now and again right you can then just use less mm -hmm. cut back and mm -hmm. use maple syrup right coconut sugar i actually bought some coconut sugar yesterday first time yeah. ever because i'm not one to do sugar at all so i yeah. bought it because there's a recipe that i'd like to put on my website <laughs> just yeah. because, you know so i was like okay i'll buy it but i yeah. don't do sugars i really don't somebody said none no mm -hmm. i don't do sugar and, i know and, i yeah. know me you yeah. have to know you. You have to know you. You have to know you. I know that I have a problem with sugar. So I, I stay away. I simply mm -hmm. stay away. Mm -hmm. Me too. And, and when you look at the process of how maple syrup is made, you can make that at home. Yes. Yes. If you have maple trees, trees, you can make it. Remember? Lisa, yes. my, her and her husband, Alvin, they do it from their maple trees yes. in their yard. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They make their maple syrup. Yep. All right. It's so what do, you what do you think about sugar alcohols? I don't like those. No, ma'am. No. And it uh, it talls. Anything that ends with manitals, whatever. T -O all the talls. All mm -hmm. the talls. Yeah. It's best to stay not away good. from it. There would, you know, there would alcohol. So, yeah. It's not good. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much. Interesting to the happy birthday, Michelle. Thank you. Thank all you. All right. Montreal is in the house, Canada. Okay, let's go quickly through the names and then we'll get to our presentation. Then I'll come back in a minute. Okay, guys. Uh, Adventist University, where? Where are you, Donatha? Exactly where? What right. do I use instead? What are you making? Tell me what you're making, then we can give you a substitute. How about that? I wouldn't want to put bananas in my tea. <laughs> All right. No. Uh, happy Sabbath, Sister Joan. Happy Sabbath. Oh, you're from. The University of Central Africa Adventist University. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Take some pictures. Let me see it. Yeah. Sai, good morning, Miss Jan. How you doing? Happy Sabbath. Uh, Sylvie from Canada. Thanks for this reminder. Beautiful. Thank you for joining us. And sister, my sister, down there in, up there, down there, wherever you are, over across there. Up there. <laughs> up there. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> I use unrefined brown sugar when I make my vegan muffins. And the same with my daughter's cakes. Maple syrup causes our cakes to be too heavy. I like my cakes light and fluffy, but we don't eat that every day. No, we don't eat it every day. Mm -mm. Don't eat it every day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I make, I make um, my sugar-free stuff. I don't feel any guilt when I have my little something. I just put dates you want to. Your um, muffin is amazing. When yeah, you eat up so Mm -hmm. Fluffs are really well. It's not and it's sweet. It's fluff and sweet. And yeah, sweet. fluff and sweet. Yeah. What can I substitute 
um, for banana bread, muffins, and cakes. What, su what substitute can you be used for sugar and banana bread? Like, like really? I've used maple syrup. And I've you used don't need it. The banana has so much sweetness. It is so, just add extra, like six bananas. You yeah. up the bananas. Or you could do a little. Give them your ratio. Give them your ratio. My ratio is equal dry, equal bananas. Yeah. So once you want you to blend your bananas or mash it out, it's equal. Equal. I do equal. Yeah. So if my if my recipe calls for oh Gail, good morning. Oh, <laughs> oh, good morning, good morning. That's my my sister friend. So if your recipe calls for two and a half cups of flour, it's two and a half cups of banana. Yeah. Add a pinch of you have to put baking powder or baking soda, and then it will keep it lighter. All right, that's the secret there. Good morning, good morning, good morning, my sister. How you doing? That's my sister. I travel with to uh, Elutra. Elutra. Calling us. Elutra has our name written on it. Be a heading. <laughs> Can't wait. Um, Happy Sabbath. We we're talking today about refined carbohydrates yes. and how it can be delicious. They're light and fluffy and often come coated in sugar or other tasty um, toppings like this cake does. And um, however, while they may be tempting, refined carbs can be dangerous to your health. In fact, in fact, sorry, the dangers of refined carbs can be so gross, resulting in chronic conditions like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and other ailments. Yeah. Yep. So studies have found that refined carbs can lead to weight gain and an increased risk of obesity, which are risk factors for diabetes and heart disease. They can also raise your blood sugar levels, mm -hmm. which can be dangerous for people with diabetes. And if that wasn't enough, refined mm -hmm. carbs have been linked to low energy levels mm -hmm. and poor productivity. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is as that enters your bloodstream, I, yeah. I have a slide on that. I'm going to see if I can find it. I actually yeah. have a slide on that to show you the difference in apple juice, applesauce, and the apple. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, I, I'm going to pull it as Michelle is sharing the next slide. And it shows you the spike. It shows you the spike in blood sugars. Okay? So as Michelle shares the next two slides, I'll pull it so you guys can see it. I want you to visualize it because this is what happens every time we take in refined stuff. Like, for instance, I'm having this morning some carrot, celery, and cucumber juice. Of course, that's not the regular juice. I made that juice, right? Even so, though, even so, there'll be a spike. There will still be a little spike, right? This is healthy for me. It's good for me, but it will show a spike. All yep. right? Yep. Let me see if I can grab that file while Michelle shares the others. Back. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so what are refined carbs refined carbs are simple sugars that have been obtained from their primary source through too much processing they can exist in two forms processed sugar like table sugar agave high fructose corn syrup or processed grains so those see the fact we're talking about is the fact that there's processing involved now the processed grains are or refined grains or the processed grains, they are those that have been stripped of their natural fiber and nutrients. This happens when they're milled, which is a process that removes the bran and the germ from the grains. What is left is the starchy endosperm, which is then bleached and refined even further. This results in a product that is much lower in nutrients than its whole grain counterpart so you see what's being involved man has been tampering with what god has given us for fuel for our bodies so they're going through the grains stripping it of all the fiber which is what is very good for keeping the blood sugar going up at a slower pace they remove that the blood sugar will spike did you find it, Marley? Are you still hmm. looking? Uh, yes, still I did. Looking? No, I got oh, it. Good. I got it. Good. I have good. it. Okay. Let me show Praise this. God. Let me see if I can get her to behave. Hold on. 
I'm going to open it up so you can see it. Hold on. I'm, I'm so many places right now. <laughs> I'm so many places. But I just wanted you guys to see it because I think it's important that you see it. Yes, I think so too. So you can, you really can visualize what happens to our bodies. All right. So let me share my screen. I'll yes, share my come. screen with you guys so you can see it. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Got to find it. I got to find it. Hold on. Oh, boy. Keep going. I can't. Okay, find so it. I'm looking for it. It's here. I just can't find problem. it. Okay. So here are some of the problems of refined foods. Number one, weight gain. Processed carbs are high in sugar and calories, which can lead to weight gain. When you eat processed carbs, your body breaks them down into glucose or blood sugar, which is then used for energy. However, if you consume more processed carbs mm. than your body needs for energy, the excess glucose is stored as fat. Mm. Okay. Are mm. you ready, Marlene, or keep going? Keep going. I'm okay. sorry. So processed foods also cause your blood sugar to spike and then crash, leaving you feeling hungry and craving for more carbs. Mm. This can lead to over eating which in most cases will be you'll be craving for what unhealthy foods and thus mm -hmm. cause weight gain in mm -hmm. addition processed carbs can cause inflammation in the body which has been linked to obesity mm -hmm. so you're mm -hmm. seeing what's happening here it's the fact that the processed food makes you crave more i don't see people craving their apples and their their bananas <laughs> I, I wish, I wish, you, I wish we could crave those things, Michelle. I know, <laughs> I know. Uh, so okay, wait, wait, wait. all right. So be nice to be good. I know, I know. So if you're trying to lose weight or maintain a healthy weight, it's important to limit your intake of processed carbs. Choose whole grains instead of refined grains whenever possible and up for fruits, fresh fruits and vegetables rather than the sugary fruit juices or snacks. Mm. Yes. Wow. I soon come. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what what happened? I found it and then it wouldn't allow me to share it. So I had to download it all over again. That's, that's <laughs> great. I don't know why it's doing this to me, but let's try again. Keep going. I'm coming. Okay. Another, makeup. <laughs> another reason why not to eat refined carbs is because it causes inflammation in the body. Inflammation is a natural process that helps our bodies heal. You know, whenever there's a cut or a wound, there's inflammation right, right there. However, when it comes to chronic, it being chronic, it can lead to a whole host of health problems. Mm -hmm. including heart disease, diabetes, mm -hmm. arthritis, and even mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. So how do you process carbs cause inflammation? So when we eat processed carbs, they are quickly broken down into sugar molecules called mm -hmm. glucose. Glucose then enters our bloodstream and triggers a release of the hormone insulin from mm -hmm. the pancreas, and in, which insulin will help the move that glucose from the bloodstream and into our cells, where it can then be used for energy or stored as glycogen for later use. Hmm. Okay. You want to go and go there now? Let me show you. Okay. I All found right. it. I found it. Take All a right. moment. Take a moment. I want to show you guys something, right? Let's open it up. Now I won't be able to see you guys, but you can see my slide, correct? Yes. Okay. So this is just showing you the effects of food processing on the levels of blood glucose. We are trying to avoid diabetes. We're trying to avoid um, insulin resistance. We're trying to avoid um, high blood pressure and all these other problems. Look at the lines. I want you to take a look at where they all started. They all started at 70. I can't do anything. I can't even point at it. So you look at 70 on the left, right? And I want you to see the difference. So the apple is the red line. Look at the red line. The yes. apple sauce is the green line. And the juice is the blue. Look at that. You see that? At the bottom, yeah. 
You see the difference in how it's processed? I ate the whole fruit versus drinking the juice, how it spikes. And then when it brings you down, because we talked about that earlier, how it brings us down yes. so low, it leads to what? Low blood oh, sugar, yeah. irritability. Yeah. Yes. So it's like irritable because our blood sugar is low. I remember this, and this is a true story. Look at it. I want you to see this first. So yeah. It comes low, and then look at how the apple just levels out. So mm. nice. Mm -mm. Apple sauce is the same place as the apple juice. It's not that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's because interesting it's because it's void of fiber. fiber. It's void of fiber. Okay? Yeah. So how many minutes after you've taken in that apple? That's 180 mm. minutes. Look at that. Right, 180 minutes, and my blood sugar is almost as normal as where I started. Mm. Almost as normal as where I started, like 68. You see it? Yeah. Versus at the um the the apple sauce and apple juice is 61 so too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. This is big. I'm so happy for this slide yeah. this morning. Yes. You know, yeah. I remember a gentleman, Michelle, walking into my shop one day. His blood sugar had to be low. He behaved so Inhumane and Ugh. ill and rude, mean. And so, a customer who I'm sorry to say that he passed away, a cousin of mine, was sitting on the wall and he says, Excuse me, do you have a problem? Because it was that bad. He says, My blood sugar is low, I need something to eat. No, 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 no. It was like so embarrassing. And I said to my niece who was working with me, there, I said, Please give him something quickly. Come on, I said, Here, sweetheart, have a cake, chew on that, <laughs> you know just to bring it up because yes. when our blood sugar is not normal, it makes us irritable, irritable. cranky. Mm. Have you seen this happening before? I've oh, seen absolutely. it over and over absolutely. and over again. No. People have that attitude. <laughs> oh, you're we'll, come we'll come to your question. We have, we have a lot of comments too. To I see that. All yes. right, so keep on going. Finish up and then I'll yeah, finish up. Okay. Okay. So okay. however, if we eat too many processed carbs or if we are insulin resistant, hmm. our body, our blood sugar levels can stay high hmm. and trigger a continuous release of insulin yes. from the pancreas, which may about. result in an inflammatory response. Hmm. Over time, this constant state of inflammation can lead to serious health problems such as heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, hmm. and hmm. even cancer. Yes, yes, because the body does not want inflammation. Yes, we yes. need to have a state of, of what we call of ease, <laughs> not yes. inflammation. Yes. All right, so constipation, a very, very common problem affecting people of all ages. It's mm. a condition which have which you have. Sorry, I have to enlarge. I'm sorry, I can't really see. Yes. So it's, an, it's a condition in which you have fewer than three bowel movements in a week. You hear that? Mm. Less than three bowel movements a week says you're constipated. So, Marley, how much should we have a day? Bowel as movement? many times as you're eating a day. That's it. So, so if you're eating two meals, you need to have two bowel movements. At least two. Per at day. least two per day. And if you're not having two a day and you go to the toilet and you have little pebbles dropping in, you're Ooh, constipated. Dehydrated badly. Dehydrated. Dehydrated and your food is void of, 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 of fiber. Of, of fiber. Yeah. Yeah. So your stool may be hard and dry, making it difficult right. to pass. Constipation can cause bloating, gas, abdominal pain, and it can also lead to more serious problems like hemorrhoids and rectal prolapse. I've seen people with this coming yeah. and calling saying, Marlene, I have um hemorrhoids. What do I do? I said, You're straining. Stop straining. straining. Refined carbs have had their fiber stripped, so they can't provide enough um or prevent constipation. Fiber is essential for proper bowel function and helps keep things moving along smoothly. Without enough fiber, the digestive system can slow down and become sluggish, leading to constipation. So we need to improve our, increase our fiber and increase our what? Water. Because if you increase your fiber and you don't increase your water, you're going to have some difficulties too. Absolutely. All right. Processed carbs can also disrupt the balance of good and bad bacteria in mm. the gut. We talked about that. Have we dealt with that? Um, I can't remember. Possibly. We haven't. We need to. You know, we have to talk about gut bacteria. 
and yeah. what's good and what's bad. Because if you don't have enough, then it leads to constipation. And this imbalance can lead to an inflammation and overgrowth of bad bacteria, which can further contribute to digestive problems, including indigestion and, and constipation. Um, besides, people that consume too many refined carbs also tend to neglect their essential health habits like drinking water. Instead, they are also always preferring to drink sodas and juices and all the other stuff, and um, which can lead to more dehydration. dehydration. Wow. Next, we're going to talk about insulin. I'm going over to my mark, the bigger slide. Uh, we're talking about now insulin resistance and increased risk of type 2 diabetes. So insulin resistance is a condition which the body's cells do not respond properly to insulin, a hormone that moves the glucose, like we said before, from the blood into the cells to be used for energy. In people with insulin resistance, the body's cells cannot use insulin properly. As a result, glucose, guess what, builds up in the bloodstream instead of being used for energy in the cells. So this can lead to various issues, like we said before, type 2 diabetes. In fact, insulin resistance is a major cause of type 2 diabetes. Yes. And in type 2 diabetes, either, either the body does not allow enough insulin or the body cells do not use mm. the insulin properly. Yes. As a result, glucose builds up in the blood, mm -hmm. leading to health issues. Mm -hmm. I think it continues. So refined carbs are mm. often quickly absorbed into the bloodstream causing guess what a sharp spike in the blood sugar levels and this caused the body to release more insulin than it would if you were just eating complex carbs like your whole grain over time this can lead to insulin resistance making your cells less responsive to insulin and causing your blood sugar levels to be out of control mm. See, mm. so that's what's going on. So that's why even people, you'll find people who are athletic and they're healthy at looking on the outside, but they end up with diabetes. You're like, why are you doing everything? Mm. Because they're not eating properly and they're not eating the right fuel for the body. Okay. All right, Thelma. Thelma says, I got to church. I'm signing out. See you soon. Oh, <laughs> blessings. Um, we we help church. With our journey on uh, to church. Yes, we got you to church. I'm looking down at my phone. So I'm, we got you to church. Praise God. We, hey, we drove with you to church. We love it. We love it. So yeah. I, I have another file to add to this one. It talks about immune system, how eating refined carbs weakens our immune system. Yes. All right. Um, the immune system is a network of cells and tissues and organs that work together to protect the body from infection. It recognizes and destroys foreign invaders, right? Such as viruses and bacteria and parasites. It also helps the body recover from illness and injury by repairing damaged tissue. Diet, our diet, your diet plays a key role in keeping your immune system what? Strong and refined carbs like white sugar and flour and white flour can disrupt the delicate balance found, you know, for your immune system. This is because they cause your blood sugar levels to rise too high, which causes inflammation and weakens the body's ability to fight off infection and disease. Look at this slide as I go with you to this slide. I'd like to share it with you. I mean, I, anytime I see something and I'm like, if I can help you to see it more uh, vividly, I'd like to share it with you. Check this one out. Can you see it? Yes. Are you seeing it? So look at how sugar destroys your white blood cells and its ability to, how it weakens the white blood cells, sorry, and its ability to destroy bacteria. So, so if you took in zero teaspoons of sugar a day, zero, zero, can you see me too? Because I can't see. I'm only seeing the slide. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Okay. So you take in zero back, um, sugar, teaspoons of sugar a day. How many bacteria are you able to destroy? 14. Yep. But if I took in six teaspoons a day, 10, you see how it reduces 12, 5, 18, 2. But if I took in two cans of soda 
I think a can of soda is like 12, te 12 teaspoons of sugar. 12 teaspoons, yeah, around that, 8 to 12. So the average person, I don't know how much they drink, probably at least one to two cans of soda a day. How much bacteria is your body able to destroy? One. What right. happens to the white blood, huh? Plus in the morning, they already ate that sugary cereal. They ate that yogurt that has sugar. So for the day, if they add up the amount of teaspoons of sugar they're eating for the entire day, it's ridiculous. Yeah, exactly, mom. exactly. I know we did mention that cancer is linked also to refined yes. consumption of sugar. So this slide is next and it says colon cancer, rectal cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, uterine, prostate, kidney, and cancer of the nervous system, all linked to oh. the consumption of refined carbs. So this holiday is coming up. I'm trying to stop sharing. How do I do yeah. that? <laughs> Okay. This, this holiday season is coming up yes. and you guys, we can't get caught in that trap thinking nope. we have to have so much of these refined carbs for the holidays. That is why this whole topic is being shared with you this morning. Yes. Because we don't want to see you fall into the trap of thinking, well, cha, it's the holidays and I got to have me some sweet. I'm not saying you can't have a little. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a little. I'm just saying have balance. And I'm saying if you can make it sugar-free, make it sugar-free. Absolutely. You know, as far as possible, this body wants to be taken care of. And guess what? Guess what's so funny? I could just I could just kill myself laughing. KML. Listen, what is this season? Flu season, cold season. Oh. Why? Why, 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 why? Would you want a weekend? So you're giving it the... The fuel. We're fueling then, it. We're fueling it. Oh, We're fueling God. it. This is it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And sometimes after Thanksgiving, it now opens up this door for you to continue eating until Christmas. And then you it, it will go on. That sugary craving. Once you start it, you become addicted. And you just go, go now for the whole entire holiday season because there's going to be office parties. Exactly. And end up years for the kids for classroom parties and all these is a sugar 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 all now for the rest of the year that's the problem that is the problem we have all these functions coming up how do we find balance how do we find because a lot of my people are like i don't know if i'm gonna make it through the season why aren't you come on what's the big yeah. deal come on you can't we can't, we can't. No, say no we have to say no we have to moderation and no if you can't no I'm, I'm not having any money i'm full you know or whatever i ate i'm good exactly yeah what about cholesterol yeah go ahead with that marley refined carbs can increase your ldl cholesterol yes it does there are two main types of cholesterol there's hdl high density lipoprotein pro cholesterol and then there's ldl the lousy one we call it i call it that's how i remember it so I say, that's how I want you to remember, lousy, <laughs> right? L HDL cholesterol is often referred to as good cholesterol because it helps remove the LDL cholesterol from the arteries and transport it to the liver where it can be broken down and eliminated from the body. LDL cholesterol, on the other hand, is often referred to as bad cholesterol because it is not best for us. You know, just remember, lousy. lousy. Eating too many refined um, carbs can cause your body to make more lousy cholesterol, LDL, or the bad cholesterol, and less of the good. This can lead to a buildup of plaque in your arteries, which can cause your risk of heart disease to increase, all right? Mm -hmm. And if you have high cholesterol or are at risk for it, limit the number of refined carbs you eat daily. Choose your whole grain breads and cereals, brown rice, and other unprocessed grains instead. These foods will give you more fiber and nutrients while helping to keep your um, blood sugar under control and your cholesterol under control. Yes, yes. All right. Wow. Well, now we're going to look at, this is the big one because people are depressed and don't even know why. It may increase the risk of depression. So refined carbs cause a spike in your blood sugar levels, leading to dopamine release in the brain. This gives people a temporary high that can be addictive. Over time, this addiction can lead to changes in the brain 
that makes it harder for people to feel pleasure from other things such as healthy foods or activities. This can lead to depression and other mental health problems. Additionally, refined carbs are often void of nutrients that are essential for brain health. This means that people who eat a lot of refined carbs are at an increased risk for nutrient deficiencies, which can lead to depression and other mental health problems. Hmm. All right. I think this is you the know, last one. Next, Marley. Huh? Okay, go ahead. I was thinking it was a lot. You know, I found yesterday I was um, watching my YouTube channel and a show came up. And there was this very famous Mr. Brown, um, you know, Tamala man and her husband. Yes. And here was a man who makes everybody laugh. And he's like, I was depressed. Yes. And he talked about it openly. Oh, and I was like, wow, I wonder what his diet's like, you know. Because um, a lot of times we are depressed, not so much because of something that may be going on. Maybe that our diet is bad, you know. I'm not calling him out. I'm just saying I wonder. Yes. I thought yes. about it. You know, because I do know that depression can be as a result of so many things, so many factors. Yeah. Um, cellular aging is a process that occurs naturally over time, right? However, certain lifestyle choices can promote cellular aging, including the consumption of refined carbs. You want to look youthful, ladies? Yeah. Stop eating those junk food. Not, we, won't, we won't wrinkle as quickly. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> The surge of sugar associated with refined carbs can react with protein in the body and promote the formation of AGE, advanced glycogen and products, and are damaging compounds that contribute to premature aging of the cells. When I learned this some years ago, I said, Lord, I got to get rid of the sugar because sister don't want to look old too soon. True. A study published in the Journal of Nature um, found that refined carbs can cause cells to age prematurely. And the study found that when cells are exposed to refined carbs, they produce more free radicals, which can damage DNA, leading to cell death. The study's authors say that the findings could have implications for public health as refined carbs are a major component of the Western diet. They say that reducing the intake of refined carbs could also reduce the risk of age-related diseases such as cancer and Alzheimer's. Powerful Amen. study. Powerful. Beautiful. Powerful study. So how do you eliminate refined carbs from your diet? Mm. So if you're looking to eliminate refined carbs from a diet, there are some simple steps that you can take. One, mm. avoid... Let me go on the back. I think I made them. Yeah, it's That's nice. okay. Um, so I can read it from here. So... Avoid processed food. This is the number one rule for eating healthy in general. Processed foods are loaded with refined carbs as well as unhealthy fats and artificial ingredients. Stick to whole unprocessed foods as much as possible. Read your labels. So when you're out grocery shopping, take a moment to read the nutrition labels on the food you're considering to buy. Look for products that are high in fiber and low in sugar. Eliminate sugary beverages like sodas, energy drinks, and fruit juices. These are major sources of refined carbs. If you're trying to cut down on refined carbs, you need to eliminate these, not even limit. You should just eliminate these drinks. They'll make a big difference in your mm -hmm. lifestyle. It will, it will. Choose whole grains. You know, when you get to the food store, instead of buying the refined stuff, why not choose whole grains? Instead of buying white rice, buy whole grain rice or brown rice. Instead of buying rice, you can do quinoa, right? Instead of buying the white refined pasta, why not buy the whole grain pasta or the gluten-free pasta? Instead, there. guess what? These options taste just as good. I'm not telling you any lie. With the whole wheat, there's a trick to it. Boil it a little longer and you will not know. Yeah. Yeah, when you're feeling like you're like, I'm tasting that grain is because it wasn't cooked long enough. So cook it just a few minutes longer, a minute or two longer than the regular, and it's going to taste the same. Fill up on your vegetables. You know, eat lots and lots of fruits and vegetables. 
These vegetables will really help to feel, make you feel full longer, giving you all of the nutrients, the fibers, the vitamins, and the minerals that you need. Then eliminate sugary snacks and desserts. Ah, candy. I don't know the last time I had a candy. Hallelujah. I got to think about it. I got to think about it. Honestly, I got to think about when's the last time I had a candy? Hmm. I don't know. Cake, yes. I have my sugar free stuff. Cookies, not in a long time because I don't I make my muffins or whatever. Um, but things like these that are made from highly refined um, ca um carbs, high in sugar and calories, but low in nutritional value. If you have a sweet tooth, or my cousin says a sweet mouth, <laughs> try satisfying your cravings with healthier alternatives like fruits and raisins. You know, all you need is you get a handful of raisins or a handful of prunes or a handful of, um, well, not a handful of prunes, but a few prunes or a few dates. I get, I like to get those with my nuts and I feel so satisfied very quickly. You know, um, something came to me as I was talking about. And if you balance it with the protein too. Yeah, you balance with the protein. I was going to say something here about the sweets, you know, but. It'll come to me. Let me tell you, if we just keep it balanced, we'd be okay. Amen. Amen. Right. Beautiful. First Corinthians 10 verse 13 says, There heart no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Mm. So God, reach out. I cry out to God. Ask him to give you the strength to overcome the temptations. Mm. And he's able to strengthen you to make the right decision. He will. Amen. He will. We have beautiful comments. As yes. I visited my Facebook page, I saw so many comments. Oh, that we yeah. comments yes. Yes. yes, yes. So there is a reason. Uh, Sophia says there's a reason why refined foods are cheaper. <laughs> yeah. You no, know there's no value in these foods. Easy access to everyone to buy while the whole foods are more expensive. But it's definitely worth that dollar. Amen. It's worth the money. Thank you, Joel. Thank you. Marlene, this week I was explaining to one of my readers because they were questioning something on my website. And I said to them, the reason why you you don't wash, because they were saying, you never wash rice. And I said, yeah, you wash your brown rice. You must wash your brown rice. It is dirty. And I said, the reason why you don't wash white rice is the fact that they have stripped it of all the nutrients and they had to put back the artificial nutrients back in it. So if you wash it, then you're going to lose that. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. they've, they've supplemented it with artificial. Mm -hmm. And I said, my recommendation is I would still wash that right rice mm -hmm. and then go eat fruits and vegetables if I were you. Because it's all chemical. It's all chemical you're, they're putting. Eat whole food, fruits, grains, nuts, vegetables, and you will get all you need. Mm -hmm. You don't have to take the artificial. Amen. Amen. No artificial. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Alliance, Grace. Another question. So is fresh applesauce bad? I'm talking about the raw applesauce and the fresh apple juice that is freshly made. We're just talking about best, better. And which is the best? The best would be the whole apple. The next would be the applesauce. And we're saying if you make the fresh apple juice yourself, it still has enzymes and nutrients in it. And it has the pectin, which is good for you. Mm -hmm. But the lower one would be the one from the store, the refined one. Yeah. Because they still clarify. If you buy just a, some of them, if they said it's filtered, if they're filtered, they're taking out more of the stuff out of it again. And they put it in through another process. So it's at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it will be the refined one in the store, the cold press one that you make, the mm -hmm. applesauce. Mm -hmm. Then the best would be whole apple, the eating whole the apple. apple. All the same. It's just degree. What would you prefer? Yeah. You know. Thank you. Dimples. Uh, Gail says fiber also lowers cholesterol. Yes, we dealt with that. Yes, it does. Definitely lowers the cholesterol a whole lot. Um, we could put it to the test. We have some persons who are trying it. 
you know, they're adding more fiber to their diet and they're going to go and get tested six weeks later to see if it does work, if it's proven. So, yes, it does. It's like a broom. Yes. It cleans out. It just brushes out all of the unnecessary stuff that's left in our system. Thank you, Musica. Thank you. So, I said, that's deep. There are so many foods that have secret sugars in them. Yes. It's good to read the labels when shopping. Oh, definitely. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. We oh, got it. Definitely. Yeah, fan says, true, Michelle. Now I have to go back in that program to see where was that. But <laughs> I'm sorry we weren't checking our, our messages. Yeah. For that. She says, moderation, temperance, moderation, temperance, and in everything, all for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. It may increase the risk of depression. That's important, most important. Very important. That's me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? If you have any questions, we'll take them at this time as we are close to the end of our time with you this morning. And we do appreciate you joining us. That music don't mean anything. That's just saying we're close to the time. Because we would like to take your comments. We'd like to take your questions. We'd like to hear from you. Um, you know, what you have to share. And we appreciate each and every one of you this morning. Thank you for staying. And let's go back and just give a shout out. Thank you to Cherry and Cheryl and Charnette and Jackie and Peter Hutch. Charnette and uh, Michelle and Marie Leard and Rachel and El Nathan and Jackie and Aldith and Whitfield Saunders mm -hmm. and Boniface and Shell Pashuta. You got that right. Yeah. And then there's Kalissa, Kalissa. Sonia yeah. Jenkins, Angelique, Donatha. Joan Forrester Stevens, Jan Zonical, Sylvie Karen, I guess I'm saying it right. Sylvie, <laughs> uh, Sophia Dimples, aka Gail, <laughs> um, Thelma, Joel, Michelle, am I missing anybody? Grace, Alliance. Very good. Thank you all. Excellent. Josie Musica, Kefi Ann Battles Miller, Miller Battles, madam. <laughs> Celine. And Kefi says to avoid overeating during the holidays, eat slowly. Amen. I love it. Amen. Eat slowly, drink lots of water. That's good. Eat a big salad. Yes. Less sedentary and plan ahead. Love yes. it. Love yes, it. I love it. That's nice. Thank That's you. a nice wrap up. So good. Yes. Any more? Send them. Miss Jan says, "Hey, ladies, give a suggested sweetener if you're making pumpkin bread. Can I use applesauce or dates? Applesauce won't give it any sweetener. Like no, that. I'll do both. If you're doing applesauce, will add moist. But you don't even because it's pumpkin is gonna give do what the applesauce would do. So dates, dates, dates. with the pumpkin puree, you you're good." Yeah. Just soak your dates, blend your dates. Yes. Soak it, blend it, and then use it in place of your sugar. Sugar. Make okay. a date. Make a date butter, so it's heavy. Yes. Not not. Are you, have you frozen, Marley? Ah. Uh, yes. Yeah. There are yeah. sugars in our supplements. Yeah. Yes, it is. She said, "Thank you." Michelle, are you there? I am. Um, can you hear me? Is Michelle there? So you Hello? can't hear. So I'm the one that's not on. Okay, I'm like, where did we go? <laughs> and one of us, is, I don't know if it's my device or your. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, okay, at least we got it to the end. We got it to the end. Praise the Lord. <laughs> at least we got it. Guys, just be intentional. You know, be intentional this season. Be intentional. Be intentional. You don't want to go through the holidays and put on 10 pounds. Who wants no. to do that? No. Don't do that to yourself. You're going to be miserable in January. Miserable. You know? So just take your time. You remember, guess what? Those foods are going to be there tomorrow anyhow. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> don't act like there's scarcity. No scarcity. There's no scarcity. Take time. Enjoy your meals. Enjoy. And like my sister Kefi says, drink lots of water in lots between. Water. <laughs> and guess what? 
Like she said to me last night, she says, well, we're going to my daughter, Andrea, for the Thanksgiving. And I got to get there the night before because we're doing the turkey run on the morning of Thanksgiving. So they're oh, going to so cool. they're they're gonna gonna run. Run. Yeah, they're going to burn off before they eat. <laughs> Do the I turkey love run that. Turkey. I you know? love that. <laughs> if you're off from work, get some walking in. Yes. And you know something? I'm just sick and tired of hearing. I'm tired and sick and tired and sick and tired of hearing excuses. Stop making one, excuses. One for no excuses. That's why she's my health coach. <laughs> my I don't believe in excuses. I'm no sorry. Excuses. Oh, but I have a lot to, to do. Who cares? Get up an hour early and get that yes. walking. Get your 10,000 steps in. You know yes. what it's going to do? Here's what it's yes. going to do. One is going to build. It's a built-in appetite suppressant. Yes. It Two, is. you're going to burn some oh, calories. 20% more than the rest of the day. Three, you're going to get it behind you. Four, no one's going to know you're gone. No one's going to know you're missing. Hey, Michelle, you know when I was, when I, my children were babies, I would get up very early in the morning to exercise. You know why? Because yes. nobody knew I was gone. Nobody. Nobody. So, I hope you guys have an awesome right. and an amazing Sabbath. I'm yes. going to run over to GT and yep. say hi to my church. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to going to greet my new president. My pastor is, has been voted in as the new president, secretary again, sorry, of our yeah. conference. I just thought I'd go and support him. He's ready. They're yep. ready. They're ready for me. They're waiting for me. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Bless you. Later. All right.